everyone, Sydney Galley here. I wanna welcome you to Fashion in Five, where every week or every other week, we talk about things having to do with fashion, beauty, relationships, lifestyles, and then some of all the above or the in-between. So today, we're gonna go right into it. We're gonna talk about lips. Mm-hmm. That's what we're talking about today. So, one of my favorite sayings about lips, because you kind of think about, okay, where do people talk about lips just on a day-to-day, -day, is once on the lips, forever on your hips. <laughs> okay, so lips, some of the phrases that you hear about lips. Loose lips, lying lips, plump lips, voluptuous lips, skinny, thin lips, cracked lips, dry lips. So lips is something, obviously, we all have them, I think. I don't know if there's anybody that I know of that doesn't have a pair of lips, <laughs> but. <laughs> lips is something that every day we should be paying attention to. I know for me, personally, I have to have something on my lips throughout the entire day. I don't like having dry lips or chapped lips. So we're gonna talk a little bit today about how to care for your lips, how to moisturize your lips. We're gonna talk about some facts about lips and how not to have loose lips, okay? But let's get started. Okay, so true or false? Lips don't lose plumpness over the years. True or false? True or false? Lips dry fast because there are no sweat glands in the area. True or false? True or false? Lips are pink because of the blood veins inside your lips. True or false? Ew. <laughs> True or false? Everybody's lip mark is unique. True or false? So if you got five out of five, good for you. If you got four out of five, you're doing good about lips. Three out of five, you might need to do a little more research about lips. And two or less, then we're really glad you're watching this segment. <laughs> Okay, so now let's take a look at lip color and ways to transform your lips. I just wanna share with you my one of my favorite mugs from Starbucks. Isn't it so cute? I love that it says LA because I live in Los Angeles, very fitting. But I brought my favorite mug today because of her beautiful lips. But what makes beautiful lips? Well, really every lip should be beautiful unless it's cracked or dry. But we're gonna take a look at how to transform lips. I'm not a MAC certified makeup artist, but I do like to wear my lipstick and wear makeup every day. One of the things I do, and I have I <laughs> lip liner on. There's probably people that would say they would do it a little differently if they were me, but I put my lip liner on. Okay, this is just a regular, <clears throat> a regular look for every day. And then you get your lip thick. So that's just my everyday look. Now, with black, depending on your day, I would say I like to go with the nudes. That's just your everyday look. I didn't do anything to increase the size of my lips, make them plump or big, or bigger. If you wanted to make your lips, take them from regular to larger, then you would use your lip liner and you would go over the lip lining on your lip. We all have a little line here. So sometimes you might see it just below. What you're doing is you're making your lips larger and making them appear plumper than they really are. So now I just increased my lip size and then you fill that in, which it's already filled. You wanna go the extra mile with that. Some people like plumpers. I don't like plumpers personally just because I don't like how it feels, but I'm uber, I have to be in control of my body. I need to be in control of my lips. So this is actually a fun gloss or tint that I got from Glossy Box. I think I shared it once before, the Steve Laurent. It is a lip gloss, it's Dusty Rose. And believe it or not, this cute little brush that actually matches, I, why are you seeing the back of my mirror? I'm so sorry. That actually matches, I got it, picked it up from the 99 cent store. So some of the makeup that I buy, 
some of the blushes that I buy, sometimes the eyeliners or even for my brows, I just get from the 99 cent store. They carry the Aziza brand. It's not so bad. So, this is a little gloss if you just want a light gloss. Okay, just to fill that in and help your smooth out. Just a little bit glossy. Now, of course, there's all kinds of different lipsticks. There's matte, which is a little bit drier. Um, if you deal a lot with chapped lips or dry lips, and I would avoid using matte on a regular basis because matte lipstick does tend to dry your lips out. Okay? Now, if you want it to be a little glossier, I personally use a glass from MAC. This might be for going out with some friends. Okay. This is a whole lot glossier than the gloss I just put on. Okay, voila, can you see the difference? And I already feel personally like I have plumped my lips just by adding the glass and I'm still in control of my lips. They're not numb or tingling or anything weird like that. <laughs> okay, so that's for those that like to have the nude colors. If you're doing something a little more fun, I have some friends that are very, very adventurous and bold. And while I sometimes like to think that I am, I think sometimes I just play it safe with the nudes. This is a fun color. I just picked up um, from Glossy Box as well. And changes my whole look. It's no longer the nudes. Now there's some brightness with the spring color, which is great. This is actually uh, came from Glossy Box, and it's Duce, Duce. So if you're interested in this particular brand, because everybody knows how to get matte, but Duce is. D-O-U-C-C-E dot com, right here on the screen. Anyway, I like that. Put it on with a, a scarf this color. Super, super cute for the spring, okay? So that is the glossing and how to just add some fun, add some sparkle, add some shine, and add some, not just pigment, but also some shape or definition to your lips. Now, how to care for your lips. How do you take care of your lips? Okay, so how to keep your lips moisturized. I don't know about you, but dry lips can be a little bit awkward, even looking at somebody who has dry lips. Have you ever been to a movie or watched something on television and thought to yourself, why are their lips so dry? Where was makeup, where was hair and makeup during this particular scene? I know that I'm not the only one who's ever thought that before. But for me, it's important to have lips that are moisturized and that feel smooth and don't feel dry. So we're gonna look at a few ways. One of the most common ways is just with delicious cucumbers. So, I mean, I'm not gonna put this on my lip for 20 minutes, but just like you would do it on your eyes to help bring some cool and to help the, the swelling go down, this actually helps to moisturize your lips. So you wanna get some cucumbers and the nice thing about it is if you don't have any lipstick or lip gloss on them, then you can put them afterwards. <laughs> and I love the Persian cucumbers. Woo, so good. Okay. The other way to moisturize your lips, good old honey and good old olive oil. So you just mix it up, put it on your lips the night before, and you're gonna wake up with lips that are very smooth and moisturized. Okay, so the thing with honey is, honey is an antibacterial, and so, and it has natural healing agents. And so what better way, you don't wanna put hand sanitizer on your lips, no, you're gonna use some honey, which is so delicious. I don't know about you, but I am a honey king. So put that honey and that olive oil together, ladies and wake up with some yummy tasting lips in the morning that are gonna be smooth to boot. The other way to keep your lips moisturized is just good old H2O. Keep yourself hydrated. Now the rule of thumb for water, did you know this? The rule of thumb for water is to drink half of your body weight. So if you're like me, right at about 200 LBs, I should be drinking 100 ounces of water every day. 
which would be this times 12. <laughs> that's a lot of water. <laughs> but that's a way to keep your lips moisturized, actually your whole body moisturized and keeping it from uh, getting dehydrated is water. Last but not least is a little concoction that is so simple. It's brown sugar, not sugar in the raw, but brown sugar and water. And together that just makes a sugar exfoliant. But if you don't have the time to do that, or if you're like me, I don't go shopping to the grocery store. I go to the 99 cent store, or I go to Trader Joe's. It's really one or the other, and sometimes Target. But I came across this fun little tube called Scrubby by Royal Apothic. I hope I'm saying it right. Is it blurry still? Blurry? Ah, okay. So it's blurry, so sorry. There'll be a picture right up here somewhere for you to see. But what you do is, let me take off some of this gloss first. What you do is you get some of the scrubby and a little bit of water. I didn't think that through. <laughs> didn't think it through, folks. Don't try this at home. And then you just, in a circular motion, am I still blurry? Okay, circular motion. And there's something in my eye. Scrub, scrub, and it's supposed to be, mm. by the way, this tastes delicious, but don't eat it. If you're wanting something sweet, just stick to a basic pie from Marie Callender's or get you a donut or a Snickers, but don't eat this. <laughs> but it actually tastes super good. And then with the wet washcloth, not a paper towel, but in this case, paper towel, just clean it, take it off. Mm, that's good. <laughs> Your lips will be so smooth. <laughs> Your lips will be so smooth. And it also will help to take off the makeup. I don't even know what it looks like right now, but. Ah, lovely. Mm. And there's a little bit of moisture on it too. The girls behind the camera are laughing. FYI. Deva and Dawn. Okay, so that is how you moisturize your lips and how you can take care of your lips so that you can keep from having those chapped or dry lips on a regular basis. I wanna leave you with this because we can have gorgeous lips or we can plump them up and I'm not even saying anything against people that wanna plump them or if you wanna inject that collagen, girl, it is all you, do you. I'm just saying me personally. That is not my thing, my thing, because I like to be in control of my lips. But I do want to leave you with this. Those who guard their lips preserve their lives, but those who speak rashly will come to ruin. Watch what you say. Guard your lips. You don't have to say everything that you want to say. A favorite proverb of mine is in Proverbs 31, and it says, the law of kindness is on her tongue. So is what you're saying kind? Is what you're saying building somebody else up? Because if it's not, then we can look as good as we want on the outside, but then the inside and what we're saying kind of makes us come across a little ugly. So you are beautiful, you are unique, your lips are unique for a reason. Everyone has a unique lip mark of their very own, and it's not just that, it's everything that you are from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. And I just had to show you that my little lip mark is so cute. <laughs> And yours is too. So until next time, have an incredible week. Remember, you are amazing. Don't let the little whispering lies that try to get you down, don't let those things outweigh who you really are. Open up your lips and you say, that is not true. I'm amazing. I have my own unique, everything about me is unique, my personality. It doesn't matter what I did yesterday, it doesn't even matter what I said, because today my lips are gonna speak right things, it's gonna build people up, I'm gonna be people's cheerleader, because I am amazing. Remember, you are fashioned for greatness. Until next time, bye.